These guys, no stranger to each other. Uh, basically, masters of their character. Wushige, super well-known Milia player, been playing Milia forever. And of course, Ogawa Zato. I think that's like our Daigo, I guess, right? Yeah, well, I would say... Well, technically Daigo's our Daigo, too, but... <laughs> yeah, that's, that's true. But yeah, Ogawa, Central when you think Guild Gear, you think Ogawa. Yeah, this guy's just a legend. He's been playing Eddie since, since Eddie was invented. Right. And this matchup, also a story matchup. <laughs> oh, boy. I think I got the story music. Again, we're still in the dark. Jeez. Heaven or hell. Two or two or one. one. Let's rock. All right, button checks button here. Button checks in top eight, man. Come on. <laughs> so this matchup is very interesting because Zato, his goal is either to knock you down so that he can summon Eddie and get some pressure going, or he's going to try to summon Eddie from mid-screen and then use that to control more of the screen along with Zato. Right. And it can be so difficult to employ that second game plan of summoning Eddie from across the screen because Millie is just so mobile, so fast, and she can threaten to kill Eddie with the pin at, at, at the blink of an eye. Right, and if she does that, then even though she doesn't have pin, Zato doesn't have the best defensive options without little Eddie. Right. And Zato does have some good anti-airs, but they're not the fastest. You kind of have to anticipate. Millie is so fast that without the threat of Nobiru from Eddie, Zato's anti-airs, it's going to be tough. Yeah. It's going to be tough to keep her out. So, um, we'll, see how, uh, we'll see how Ogawa plays this. I'm sure he's done this plenty of times in the past. So, oh, as yeah. you said, these guys are teammates, so I'm sure they kind of know each other a little bit. Yeah, they, they definitely know the matchup. And interestingly also, even though they have been teammates before, Washige is uh, he's actually from the west coast of Japan, which is a little more spread out. And uh, he actually won a qualifier just to come to Evo. He won the, uh, I believe it was the KSB qualifier right. to come here. They flew him out. And uh, he also won the um, Arc Revo qualifier too and decided to come to Evo instead. Yeah, he couldn't, he couldn't go to both, unfortunately. Oh, man. Thank you. So here we go. Ogawa immediately backing up. There it is. Pins out. And then we saw uh, Washige tried to snipe Eddie with the pin, was just a little bit short, but did get the hit on him. So he's, he's out of commission right now, but there he is. Little Eddie's back. Oh, sandwich. And we were seeing that all day yesterday. Ogawa breaks the law to put Zato underground, and then basically plays Eddie as his character and pokes. That is some scary stuff, man. Oh! Bad Moon trades. Yeah, Washige looking for that knockdown. Good pressure block. started. Fades the burst. And this is a bad spot for Here Ogawa. Here we go. Oh, man, blocks the overhead. Nice. Oh, does not take that if you don't have to. All right, Ogawa fighting his way out of the corner. Eddie just died, but he's still fighting it out. Trying to snipe him with two eggs. Ogawa trying to waste a little time. Eddie is back available. And there's oh. the big Nibiru summon to the puddle. Wushige trying to get around Eddie. Nice YRC to get the 6P timing. Good grab. All right, what's we got here? Sets up the disc, but not close enough to the corner. Oh, man, he just went in a little too fast. He did not cover himself. So smart by Zato. That's one of the new features to Zato in Exert. You can actually summon Eddie to the Under puddles the puddle, that right? are left over by the drills now. Right, you have to pay attention to that. All right, Ogawa actually let Eddie run out, but he oh, does have a Shige corner. Nice air grab. Out of the ball basketball. Yeah, knew, knew that Washiga was trying to escape the corner. But again, Wushige on the offensive. Ogawa still so far from first. All right, it might have been a little obvious with that, but still got the combo. And I was just going to say, Zato's dead angle is not the best in the game. It's a little slow, so his defensive oh. options are not the best. But he's fighting. He's out of the corner. He could not. Oh, my God, again with the sandwiches. And Ogawa, I mean, we've just been seeing this over and over. He summons Eddie, and then he breaks the law, go, goes underground, and then he pokes with the punch move with Eddie, mm -hmm. and at the same time, YRCs to come out of the break the law. So if the punch move from Eddie hits you, he can react during the time freeze and easily get a combo because he comes out of the ground from the YRC. Right, then you're in the world of pain. Such, a, such an interesting tactic, such a difficult tactic to deal with. So Ogawa looking over a few notes here. Because you're never going to face Little Eddie. You're always going to face where Ogawa is. So it's, right, yeah. if, you, if you land in between them, you can't even hit Eddie because he's behind you. Right, wow, that is ridiculous. So tricky. Heaven or hell. Duel. Duel. One. One. Let's rock. All right, Ogawa starting off strong. Pushing she get to the corner, but again, Milia's air mobility is not going to keep her there for very long. But right now she's in a sandwich. Oh my god. Well, Shige trying to figure out what to do here. Could not find any options. Pretty much lost all of his life. Ogawa trying to keep up that momentum. Oh, oh what a big grab. But the Secret Garden stops the knockdown. 
Oh, wow, here it comes. He's got a chance here. Again, sets up the disc, but too far from the corner to really make use of it. Right, oh, raw on. six. Okay. Yeah, big counter hit. Oh, and gets him with the hair car. And so Washige bringing it back. Woo -hoo -hoo. Interesting to note, Ogawa did use his burst there, but he bursted a little bit later in the combo because he got his, his he got his burst baited last game. So was a little more patient with his burst this time. So he's gonna have it back quicker now because it wasn't baited. All right, not Washige well, back in there. He's gonna have to. Wow, Ogawa kind of running away from now. Big 2-H anti-air, gets on the combo, takes him to the corner, but messes up the disc, gets 5-H instead. Trying to get that positioning down right now. And nice, Washige predicted the, the, the puddle summon and actually killed Eddie. And a real bad burst here, completely whiffed. Look right, out for the dead Ooh, angle. There yep. you go. Wow, kills Eddie again. Washige's doing everything oh, right right man, now. Can't swing at that, man. And this is going to get him real low. No burst, no dead angle, he's got to block this, this out. Washige. And he Ushige. gets caught low. Ushige bringing it back, one game apiece. Just hyper aggressive. Ogawa swinging at things that he shouldn't. That was all Ushige. Yeah, I have to attribute that uh, attribute that win to Ushige, making sure to keep Eddie out of the fight. Killed Eddie multiple times immediately when he was summoned, and he just basically was not a factor at all in that second round. Mm -hmm. All right, so a close match here going into game three. All right, now comes the last adjustment. <laughs> and again, that's what I'm talking about, predicting the summons and taking them out immediately. Washige with such a big advantage here. Ogawa choosing not to burst, and there's the OTG burst. Gets the grab, here comes the corner presser. Oh, and he catches him with the low, such a tricky mix-up. That buzzsaw is blocked stun for days. Ogawa can do one. Oh! Big Nobiru. What a read. And just taking chunks out of Milia's life bar. There's really no reason not to do it, but that's gonna hurt. Right, Ogawa unsummoning, resummoning. Trying to just work with Shige towards the corner. Trying to make a well, Shige make a mistake, and there it is. Oh, and Eddie actually ran out naturally, so Ogawa's not going to have that available for a little while. And there's an OTG burst from Washige. And little Eddie's back, pulls him out immediately. Another sandwich! So smart. Saw Washige jump up really high, knew the trajectory of the pin. Ogawa was one step ahead, broke the law to avoid the pin, and Washige came right down into Eddie pressure. And he hasn't seen that setup yet. At least he's not sure how to handle it. All right, here comes Oshige with her damage. But he did hit Zato, not Eddie, so if Ogawa can get out of this pressure, he will have Eddie available, and he does. Flies out of the corner, and there's the oh, puddle summon, but Oshige just jumps right over it. H, and Ogawa trying so hard to prevent Oshige from jumping out of the corner. Oh, dives right into the little hero. And again, the break the law with the Eddie punch. Wow, he actually, he actually blocked the first hit, too, and didn't even have the wire see it. Oh, oh big counter hit that what a launch. Gamble. And the dead angle doesn't bait it. Gets caught low again, has uh, to burst immediately. Full meter though! Full meter! He's gonna have to do Oh he can't! No, no burst! So no burst. smart! Oh my so god! Smart. Genius! So smart, he couldn't burst because of the super! But will she get thinks it's over? Down oh, you oh, 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 what and the one doesn't get He still got 65%! Oh my god! Will she get she get no. not like this! What are you standing what are you up standing for? Up for? Why? Why? Oh my god! Well she had thought it was over and stood up and Ogawa gave him no remorse! That is exactly what happens. Don't have a celebration with pop off! Pop oh off. my god! Take it in, flex on him. Unbelievable. Washige is going to be dreaming about that tonight. Oh my god. Boy, did you think these were button checks? Wow. You know, when he stood up, I thought, <coughs> I thought, all right, he's just real quick going to stand up and sit back down. Yeah. Unbelievable. Oh, Unbelievable. And Ogawa <laughs> recognized it immediately. Went up with a complete unscaled combo, did 60% right off the bat, and then hit him with the mix-up into the instant dizzy. Oh, dude. Wow. His back is broken. Wow. That, that round was over before Washigi even got back into the chair.